Ranked Resurgence is officially here, and look, I think a lot of you right now are scared to play it, or you're just struggling with how sweaty it is. So today, we're going to be breaking down a 225 SR game that I had, give you a bunch of tips that will allow you to have more success, and more importantly, in the beginning here, I'm going to quickly go over one of the biggest changes coming to Ranked Resurgence that will allow you to start to have more fun and actually enjoy it a little bit more. Starting off right here, little high-risk, high-reward early game strategy. We're going to grab this most wanted contract to the left side. Now, if this was like center map, I would not grab the most wanted. We're on the outskirts of the map. Most wanted contracts in ranked are an invitation to get pushed, but we're kind of out here tucked away in the middle of nowhere on the edge of the map, a little bit secluded. So we're going to grab this thing, be able to quickly get it done and get our loadout down, which by the way, if you are subscribed, you know, that is the most important thing to getting momentum for the game is getting that loadout down early. And by the way, 65% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you are subscribed down below if you are looking to get better. Now let's go ahead and jump into the biggest change that's coming real quick. Actually, one other thing. See new feature in season two red outline on the minimap means enemy UAV overhead so just be aware if you don't have a ghost vest or the ghost perk that you are on radar and you could get pushed biggest change that's coming and they were very open about this in the patch notes when talking about ranked resurgence is that everybody starts at zero so there's two reasons that it is so sweaty and a lot of you are struggling right now reason number one they've got to allow the better players to get to the top ranks right to the crimson to the iridescent to the top 250 if matchmaking was super tight for the top 250 and iridescent players they would never find lobbies there's not enough people up there yet so they have to let the top players get there and then they'll tighten the matchmaking so matchmaking right now is super loose number two is a player like me i'm a four and a half kd player my goal is to get to iridescent over the course of this season but i just haven't had a lot of time to play yet so i'm sitting in goal two going up against you know platinum players maybe some silver players maybe some bronze players and yet i shouldn't be there but i'm only there because i haven't had time to play yet so over the next few weeks matchmaking is going to get tighter better players like me are going to be grinding and you know, going to be in those top levels, at which point we're not playing against people in, you know, platinum, gold, silver, whatever it may be. You're going to be playing against people who are your level, maybe a little bit better, a little bit worse. So give it time and it will all even itself out. Now let's go in and jump in here. We got loadout early. We're off to a good start here. We don't even care about kills or anything. We're going to talk about points here in a little bit, but let's talk about the team dynamic. Guys, I don't care how you feel about stacking. Ranked is a team game. You should stack. You should play with your teammates. And by the way, if you are trying to solo queue, that is a miserable experience. Do not do it. I have a link to my discord. I've got a need teammate session. I want see how many people we can get in that section this way everybody can play with somebody and you have comms with your teammates and you're on the same page and you're not trying to solo queue trying to solo queue with randoms is going to be a miserable experience i promise you now let's go ahead and jump in right here you can see cam and jpuck we're just working our way over working high ground here same applies you know similar to vondo let's play our rooftops let's play our positioning and cover we're going to start to work our way over this way and see if we can third party get some easy kills now as that's happening you're going to see J Puck throw portable radar. I see one on my level. Now, depending on your skill level, you know, uh, yeah, take your 1v1 fights, but I could also wait for Cam here down below and we stack this and we 1v2 it and we just make sure that we get the kill. I'm going to go ahead. We're able to easily get that kill right there. And just like that, it is five points for a kill early game. Now, one of the most important things to understand and notice we have kind of a lot of teams around us. Town and winery are going to be your hot areas. That's a reminder for those of you that played Fortune's Keep before and it's a you know for those of you who haven't just note that town and winery are going to be the most important or the the hottest drops so right here we're going to go ahead and get this kill now let's talk about the points dynamic here real quick one of the best changes that they made with ranked i don't think this was in previously kills and assists are worth the, worth the same amount of points but anytime your teammate gets a kill and you don't do anything you still get points so right here you're going to see two enemies down below cam's going to get some initial shots on that guy i'm going to get the down then and keep in mind we're at 13 sr right here minus 13 sr so as we push down low j puck's going to get that kill so that's plus three for me and that's plus five for the kill that we got on the first guy so basically you know this guy over to my left side here if we were to really map this out so that guy is worth five points now cam assisted me here so he gets five points as well we get we both everybody gets points right there because of that kill and the team dynamic so understand that kills don't matter 
Get your assist, team shot people, be really smart, play as a squad, because the SR is going to take care of itself, especially if you guys are team shotting really well. Everybody's getting the same amount of points, even if you aren't necessarily getting the most kills. There was one game where I think TCAP, I had like 11 and TCAP had 5, but we got the same amount of SR because he was, you know, in on all the kills and getting assists. With, uh, with Fortune's Keep here, guys, be really smart about your positioning. You're going to see this right here. This can happen in the blink of an eye blink of an eye we tag that guy and what happens team shot so while i'm telling you guys to team shot you better be very aware that you can die instantly watch how fast i die here just like that i mean literally just three guys shooting at me the ttk is fast enough in a 1v1 this is multiple enemies shooting at me so just be very aware one other thing as we're kind of queuing as we're uh, getting back in here that i do want to plug me t captain x and gertis of earth built a website for you guys that it allows you to easily log games now a lot of people are like joe we could we already have stats in game da -da 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 -da. no we're talking bigger than what activision gives us you log where you dropped you know um you log the loadout that you used you log where you died you logged obviously your kills down damage and placement and stuff and then from there you log ways that you died you log ways that you got kills and then we have personal stats that you can use to start to understand where you're struggling what drop spots do you play best at do you play do you get more kills when you land in town or do you land in winery same thing goes for vondel ashika big map urzikstan resurgence no matter what you play we have all of the maps in there you know what loadout do you play best with yeah right now when i'm recording this you can argue that the bp 50 and the ram 9 are the meta guns but what if you play better with the striker nine that is information that we can we're tracking kills per game win percentage things like that that allow you to get an understanding of how you can improve website is ggs.ai that is down in the pinned comment below make sure you go sign up and start using it today especially if you want to get better at ranked guys i promise you it's going to help you right here we see the team shot again i get shot in the back that's okay so we're going to go ahead kind of cover our teammates here i was trying to get back to loadout but just couldn't do it this guy is the definition of a bullet that is the definition of a bullet right there. We're able to get that kill. And by the way, just like that, we're up to 23 SR. One of the biggest things, I tell you guys that this is a team game. Sometimes you are just going to have to play your life. Okay, what that means is, hey, I'm not with you guys. Like, I get caught in a really bad spot here. I'm getting chased. And I tell J Puck and Cam, hey... I'm in a bad spot. Like, I'm playing my life here for a little bit. You guys are on your own. And all I'm trying to do is maybe get away, maybe get a kill or two if I can. You know, just trying to finesse a little bit. It's kind of a bad situation to be in. We don't want to be in this situation, but it can happen. And in, in that scenario, just play your life. Do the best that you can. Take out an enemy reposition. Take out an enemy reposition. Again, solo queuing and trying to split is going to be very difficult in this game mode because the way I'm encouraging you to stack, other teams are going to be stacking as well. They're going to be trading. So it's going to be tough, but just play your life if if you have to. 10 teams, 4 kills. I'm going to tell you this right now. I only finished with 11, but we gained 225 SR. Getting to end game is one of the most important things that you can possibly do. When we talk about Fortune's Keep, easy shots right there. By the way, I pick up 5, but just a reminder, Cam and J Puck both pick up three. And look at our spacing right here. J Puck's a little bit further back. I've got two enemies down below right here. That guy shoots me really well. But then as I push up here, you're going to see Cam kind of start to work his way to the rooftop. He's kind of probably tucked by. Oh, no, he's not. He's perfect. He's right on the rooftop here. So we're starting to kind of pinch this this way. And then I just get smoked in the back. This is where A, high alert's going to be very valuable on Fortune's Keep, and you are going to have to be very careful of your positioning and cover. Unlike Vondel, there are higher rooftops. On Vondel, generally speaking, there are some higher rooftops, but a lot of the rooftops are even ground, you know, maybe slightly higher. In this, there are a lot higher rooftops. Now, let's talk about this. This was a really dumb play. This is the problem with the death, not the problem with the death fee. This is the tough part. Like, I don't want to give up the points. I don't want to bleed out here if I'm resible because I don't want to lose the points from the death fee. But what ends up happening here as we push up is Cam's going to go down right here. Now, all of a sudden, J Puck is last alive. You have to listen to me. You have to be hyper aware and maybe send this part to your teammates. You have to be hyper aware of when you are last alive. Because if J Puck goes down right here, I do not get another 200 SR because our game is over. So J Puck just has to find a way to stay alive to get Cam back. And he is in the mix right now. Like, I don't know why I'm still not bleeding. Oh, I wasn't bleeding because I was trying to get him information. If somebody pushed up the stairs, I wanted to live ping for J Puck, give him some info. But you're going to see him right here. 
minus three death fee, by the way. So I lost three points right there. You're going to see right here, like he's in a very bad spot. There's Cam. Cam is back at this point. So, you know, now we can start to fight a little bit. Now, as I said earlier, he's going to play his life. He's going to see what he can do. Maybe try to get a kill here. But what's going to end up happening is he's just going to have to finesse. Cam is back at this point, I think. So is Cam back? Yeah, Cam's back. Cam's floating in over this way. He's over here somewhere, but yeah, he's right here. So Cam is back. Now I'm back. So J Puck at this point, hey, try to take anybody you can. Take a kill or two, and then if you die, you die. It's gonna. It, it, there's a good chance it happens. But we're gonna slowly regain here. We got the free loadout. This is why getting the early loadout is so so crucial because it leaves this free loadout up to regain. Now this is one of my favorite fights that we're gonna have. This is kind of like. Hey, we're not having a great game thus far. You know, this team's over that way. We don't have plates. We've got five kills, so we're doing okay. You know, SR-wise, we just got to keep grinding. We're only in second circle. Again, the win is going to give us a ton of SR here. And even getting to top five, top three, is going to give us a ton. So no plates just yet. And we're going to get pushed by a very sweaty team here. And when we talk about fighting teams, guys, you got to understand the most important thing is getting that early down. By the way, right here, what do we buy? Uh, I've seen this a lot. Lot. I've seen this everywhere. A lot of you guys are buying a munitions box in this situation because you're like, I need ammo, but I'm going armor box every single time. Here's why. Because at the end of the day, like A, I know I already have full ammo, but regardless, if I don't have plates, fighting is very difficult. I know the argument about like, oh yeah, but ammo, like you need ammo. I, guys, get plates. Please, just trust me on this one. Just buy plate boxes and then be very strategic about how you approach your fight. Be very strategic about your trigger discipline because this is a great example. If I don't, we're going to keep just getting smoked here, okay? So think about the fact that I don't have any extra plates, but I do have a ton of ammo because I bought a munitions box. This is the situation that a lot of you get caught in and then you're just, you end up dead because you have nowhere to go and you get stuck. Watch this right here. Kind of waiting. We're going to see this nuke skin. Okay, right there. You know what? Nope, that's it. I don't have any extra plates because I didn't buy an armor box before. So now all of a sudden we're stuck here with no plates. Great. We have full ammo, but there's not a whole lot I can do with that. So this is why you need to buy plate boxes first and then just focus on your ammo throughout because you already spawn in with ammo, but being full plates, there we go again. I get fried again. And we have a, a feeling these guys are pushing, but we're still looking for an angle. That's just to regen base health. Now, right here, I see the one thing that we need, which is this guy flying. Look at this guy flying. That tells me that they are pushing us. Ready? Now it's on. What we need is the first kill. By the way, in this situation, I don't know if Cam has plates or not. J-Puck takes a little bit of damage. And yes, guys, like I said, I'm a four and a half KD player. We're going to win our 1v1s, baby. Boom. There's the 1v1. That is the advantage that we needed. Now, I've got to back off, but I'm still up, okay? So this is the advantage that we needed. That first kill is crucial. Cam goes down, unfortunately. So now we're going to push up to the rooftop. The pressure is on them, right? Because now that guy is back down we're still in a 2v2 broken down and right here we're finally able to get that guy but even if i die to this enemy right here even if he's full plates and i end up going down look who's right next to me right j puck's right there with me so watch how this whole thing plays out again this is one of the most important dynamics of ranked which is playing as a squad this guy's flying over we're gonna go ahead and push up gotta win your 1v1s this immediately gives us this advantage here even though i took a lot of damage that enemy goes down so Cam ends up going down as well, but he's going to break enemy number two. So enemy number one is down. Enemy number two is broken, which is going to be the last guy that you saw, right? The, the, the rank skin in white that we end up getting the full kill on. So we get the re-knock right here. The throwing knife breaks. There's the down right there. And then just like this, we're going to wait for the last enemy to try to push in. And we're able to get that kill. The other thing that I want you to notice here is how quick this hit can happen. 48 SR. When we finish this, we're at 69 SR. Plus 21 right there. And by the way, J Puck's picking up a bunch right there. Cam probably picked up a bunch right there based on assists and stuff. So across the board, we are all getting SR. Now we're right back in. We're going to regain. You know, don't forget, you can land right back in on your stuff. We've obviously got durable gas mask there. And I want you to remember that I grabbed that durable because that's actually going to be crucial for later on. We're going to start to play positioning right here. You see these guys flying in, okay? So once again, we're getting pushed here. We're just going to get pushed. 
right here. You know, just kind of see that guy over to the left. We see this guy flying in, so we're going to fry him out of the sky. Now, I get caught completely out in the open here. GG's.ai, guys, I love this as getting caught out in the open. You can start to see where the reasons that you are dying most often with your log teams. You know, as you get to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 log teams, you can start to see where you're really struggling. And we're working on a bunch of ideas for you guys that kind of give you direct feedback, potentially, on areas that you can improve. By the way, notice right here, we go from like immediately, we're gonna get this down right here. Okay, so remember that we get that down right there. J Puck got it, but I assisted. I get that break, so I get the assist right there. So that's plus seven right there on that kill. I get a minus three death fee. Then what's gonna happen is there's a kill right there. So there's the kill right there. That's plus seven on that assist. And we get top five. So I just went from 71 to 105 SR because of placement. So yes, we want to be pushing for kills, but placement and making the smart decision. That's the biggest thing. Making that smart decision is going to allow us to start to gain that SR more and more and more. Now you got to win your ones. You got to win your, you got to play well as a team. You got to trade really well and put yourself in good positions. But most importantly, guys, make sure you're being strategic with your decision making and getting towards that end game. The other thing is, you know, we can get a bunch of kills here end game that will allow us to pick up even more and more SR. For those of you unfamiliar with ranked who never played multi, I guess it wouldn't be multiplayer. For those of you that didn't play BR ranked, as the game goes on, you get more and more SR for kills, assists, and stuff like that. So a kill in first circle is worth less than a kill in, in end game. I think a kill in, in first circle is worth five and a kill in end game is worth 10. We're going to go ahead, just play a little bit of positioning here. Respawn is almost disabled, guys, so you got to be really smart when this when this part happens. Got to be really smart. Like, yeah, that's a good fight that I would love to chase, but hey, we're playing positioning at this point. Respawn is disabled. We're going to go ahead, and I want you to remember this decision. This is a tough one. What do you do right here? Now, J Puck buys Yui. Now, technically speaking, we probably should have gone like self-revives and stuff like that, but I also look hindsight, and I'm like, this UAV won us this game. Like 100% hands down. We don't win this game without this UAV. And I'll, I'll kind of break down why. But the the we probably should have technically gone with like self-revives and make sure people have gas masks and stuff like that in that situation. So we're going to go ahead. We're just going to play this positioning for a little bit. And look what we have on radar. We've got four teams. There's literally everybody in front. Like I said, guys, you better be aware of your cover, especially as you get into those ranks, you know, platinum, diamond, and even higher than that crimson iridescent. You better be ready and be aware of your cover. You better trust your high alert or you, you are going to get absolutely fried. Absolutely fried. So this is why I say the UAV won us this game. Look at this one dot right here. One single dot. Everybody's on this side of the map. There's one dot over here. And I'm like, hey, we've got to go get this high ground. We've got to go push this guy right here. Yeah, like that's our comm right there. That's our comm. It's like, hey, we need to go this way. So let's, let's rock. And you can see we're all going. We're all on the same page here. Earlier in the night, we were really struggling. Me, J Puck, and Cam were struggling with this a little bit of not necessarily being on the same page and getting caught in bad situations. We really focused on it, and now we're all on the same page here all together. Where we're able to easily, uh, easily get this kill right here. One thing I do want to mention when it comes to SR, remember. Okay, this is a this is a little bit more advanced and it's a little bit more high risk, high reward. You got to be very strategic about when you do this as a squad you get a certain amount of kill or a certain amount of SR for kills and assists, and you get a little bit less SR if your teammate gets the kill and you do nothing. So as I go to push up here, ignore the throwing knife because that's not the point. I shouldn't have tried to throw a knife. I'm going to let them get taps. So J Puck's going to tap the guy once, and then Cam is going to finish him off or, or something like that. I think J Puck might actually get the full. Yeah, J Puck gets the full, which means he now gets the SR for an assist. So that's just a little thing that you can do at strategic times to be able to get a little bit SR. You want to do it for your teammates. Your teammates should probably be doing it for you where you get just a little bit extra and that little bit extra does add up over time. I'm not like super gung-ho about it because I think the information on the minimap is more important and being aware that you could get pushed by those teammates. But, you know, if there is an opportunity to do it where you know it's a solo player, make sure that you are letting your teammates get the assist. Now, J-Puck way overextends here. Like way overextends. Guys, this is ranked. We slow down. The win is the most important thing. You know, respawns disabled. There's not, if J Puck goes down here, there's no buying him back. There's no way we're going to that buy station to the left side to buy him back. Oh, we have a buy right here, actually. So J Puck way overextends. And right about here is when I call him back. I'm like, Jay, you just way overextended. You need to get back here. So we're going to look over him and ultimately allow him to get back. 
Now, I do want to call J Puck out on one other thing. By the way, we're at 117 SR. We're just going to keep playing this end game here. I'm going to call J Puck out on one thing here, and I know that he's okay with it. So, when you guys are getting to these end games, actually, throughout the entire game, do not forget information. That is when you are going to get rolled up on in third party by a good team. So you have to remember as much information as possible. So right here in this situation, we have two, we have one team over to our right side. We're going to go ahead and fry this guy right here. Yep, we're going to fry that guy right there. So we have one team over on yellow pink, and we have two teams over in this area right here. And I want you to remember that in particular. We're just going to keep playing our high ground. We're going to wait to see what we can find. And look at this right here. By the way, we're down to three teams at this point. So I know that there's one team to my right side and one team to my left side. Notice top 20 now. We're plus 20 right here. So we're at 149. Now watch this circle pull right here. This is just about as bad of a circle pull as you can get. But we have all the information. We know that there's a team straight ahead of us and there's a team to our right. Look at this circle pull right here. That is as bad of a circle rotation as you could get. So we're going to have to see what we can do. We're going to have to do our best here. Now, Cam says, hey, let me buy precision. Look at where J-Puck is. J-Puck already started rotating, but he forgot that there's a team over to this right side. So he's in a really bad spot here in a second where he's going to start rotating to the right, completely forgetting about these guys over here. He needs to slow down, not think about the kills. Literally, all we need to do is think about our rotation at this moment, try to get into circle, and you can see him over to the right side. We're going to throw on durable gas mask. Cam and I are going to fly over because we kept our high ground, and I'm going to trust Mountaineer. I still am rocking Mountaineer. I'm a little bit on the fence, but once again, this kind of wins us this game a little bit because if I don't have Mountaineer, I don't know if I am able to survive that. At least I'd have to pull shoot and who knows what happens from there. We're going to go ahead and push to the rooftop. Still three teams of three here, right? So everybody's full strength at this moment. There, J Puck's down. J Puck ends up going down right there. I end up falling down by accident here. And then we have that guy down and we're going to use our stims. A lot, According to GG's guys, a lot of people are putting stims on their loadout, but I guarantee you, you guys are not using them. Make sure you are using them for that, that speed boost and more importantly, the health boost. Right there, notice that uh, Cam got basically a whole entire team with the precision airstrike. So we're up to 170 SR just like that because I got the full kill on somebody. Right here, kill by squad mate. So end game, kill by squad mate is the same as a kill, is actually worth more than a kill in early game. So just keep that in mind. Again, team shot as much as possible and just focus on the win right here. 2v3 situation, gotta find a way to clutch this. That's the most important thing. We know we're slightly outnumbered, but we're in a perfectly okay spot we have a good sense of where they are so i'm gonna go ahead i got high alerted in the back so we're gonna go i know i need to reload pull him yacht so let's reload the pull him yacht here i throw that just to hold off that enemy and now we have high ground now we have high ground we need to find a way to get a pick here let's find a way to get a pick but this is last circle right here this is it so six circle is the last circle there's the down there's the thirst right there so by the way look at the kills that's plus 10 i'm up to 180 this is final circle right here. I know that they're down below us, so we just got to see if we can play a little bit patient here. There's a down right there. There's the thirst. There's another plus 10 for 190. 1v2 situation. I know he's down below me. I'm going to go ahead and push this. We're able to get the kill right there. There's 200. We get another 25 for the win, guys. That is a 225 SR game. I finished with 12 kills. A little bit of an interesting game. I died a few times. I think we finished with, uh, what, 27? Did we finish with 27 as a squad there? But overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video stick with ranked if you can you know it's gonna get less sweaty over time get your loadout early act on information play your positioning and cover make the smart decision to get to end game at which point you're gonna really maximize that sr i hope you found today's video helpful as i always say let's get better today and i will see you tomorrow